I'm sacrificed. I'm sold, betrayed to shame. Inevitable ruin has enclosed me. I never had but one love and he's proved false. He that should guard my virtue has betrayed it, left me, undone me. Oh, that I could hate him. Can Belvedere want a resting place when these poor arms are open to receive her? There was a time. Yes, yes, there was a time when Belvedere's tears, her cries and sorrows were not despised, when if she chanced to sigh or look but sat, there was indeed a time when Jaffier would have taken her in his arms, eased her declining head upon his breast and never left her till he found the cause. But let her now weep seize. Cry till she rend the earth, sigh till she burst her heart asunder. Still he bears it all, deaf as the wind, and as the rocks unshaken. Thou too rashly centrist of my love. Could thou but think how I have spent this night, dark and alone, no pillow to my head, rest in my eyes, nor quiet in my heart. Thou wouldst not, Belvedere, sure thou wouldst not talk to me thus. Why then, poor mourner, in what baleful corner has thou been talking with that witch the night? Oh, Belvedere. Why was I last night delivered to a villain? <laughs> a villain. Yes, to a villain. Why, at such an hour, meets that assembly, all made up of wretches that look as hell had drawn him into league? Why, I in this hand and in that a dagger, was I delivered with such dreadful ceremonies? To you, sirs, and to your honour, I bequeath her, and with her this, whene'er I prove unworthy, you know the rest. Then strike it to her heart, oh, why is that rest concealed from me? Must I be made the hostage of a hellish trust? For such I know I am. That's all my value. I shall undo myself and tell thee all. Yet think a little ere thou tempt me further. Think I have a tale to tell will shake thy nature. I have bound myself by strictest sacrament, divine and human, Speak. to kill thy father. My father? Nay, the throats of the whole senate shall bleed, my Belvedere. He amongst us who spares his father, brother, or his friend is damned. Oh. Nay, have a care and shrink not, even in thought, for if thou dost... I know it, thou wilt kill me, will do. Strike thy blade into this bosom, lay me dead on the earth, and then thou wilt be safe. Murder my father! Though his cruel nature has persecuted me to my undoing, he's driven me to basest want, can I behold him with smiles, vengeance butchered in his age, the sacred fountain of my life destroyed? And canst thou shed the blood that gave me being? Nay, nay, be a traitor too, and sell thy country. Can thy great heart descend so vilely low? Mixed with hired slaves, bravos, common stabbers, no slitters, alley lurking villains. Join with such a crew, and take a ruffian's wages to cut the throats of wretches as they sleep. Thou wrongst me, Belvedere. I've engaged with men of souls fit to reform the ills of all mankind. What's he to whose cursed hands last night thou gavest me? Was that well done? Oh, I could tell a story would rouse thy lion heart out of its den and make it rage with terrifying fury. Speak on, I charge thee. Oh, my love. If ere thy Belvedere's peace deserve thy care, remove me from this place. Last night. Last night. Distract me not, but give me all the truth. No sooner wert thou gone, and I alone, left in the power of that old son of mischief, Reno. No sooner was I lain on my sad bed, but that vile wretch approached me, loose, unbuttoned, and ready for violation, and my heart throbbed with its fears. Oh, how I wept and sighed and shrunk, and trembled and wished in vain for him that should protect me, thou alas wert gone. Patience, sweet heaven, till I make vengeance sure. He drew the hideous dagger forth thou gavest him, and with upbraiding smiles he said, Behold it, this is the pledge of a false husband's love. And in my arms, then pressed, and would have clasped me, but with my cries I scared his coward heart till he withdrew, and muttered vows to hell. These are thy friends. With these, 
thy life, thy honour, thy love all staked, and all will go to ruin. <laughs>